Thank you for watching my video. My name is Mr. Charles Wenike. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss difference between AC alternating current and DC current auto coupler. The difference between AC current and DC current. An auto coupler is an electronic component that basically acts as as an interface between two separate circuits that operate at different voltage levels. An optocoupler is a passive electronic component. What is an isolated circuit? Optocoupler is a common component by which can provide electrical isolation between input and output source. Isolation circuits are the circuits which do not have a common conductor in between them and proper isolation is maintained. Now I want to use um, this diagram to explain this. Let's talk about this. You can see that this is a power board. In this power board, we have here, you can see the line from the question that I asked here, which I asked, what is an isolated circuit? And I, I gave the definition. Isolated circuits are the circuits which do not have a common conductor in between them and proper isolation is maintained. Now look at the proper isolation that I'm talking about right now. I am using this power board to explain the proper isolation and the and the so-called um, um, isolated circuit. That is what I mean. So I'm going to explain the isolated circuit using this power board. Now from from this power board now you can it's obvious that this is a power socket this is a the power socket now it has a line that demarcates it from this place this one is called a uh, smts smps um, transformer here you now you can see this line this line it has a demarcation that is the isolated circuit that i defined from the other aspect now this line is where the autocoupler comes into it's obviously that you can see the autocoupler here one and two there are two in between now what they do here is here is now is they are in between the hot and cold being the primary source and the secondary source you can obviously see it here here is the uh, uh, this one is the autocoupler the same thing here is the autocoupler this line demarcate between the primary source and the secondary source so that is the isolated circuit so the isolated circuit is is the one that has what from the definition that i said here now isolated circuits are the circuit who do not have a common conductor in between them and proper isolation is maintained that is what i explain right now so here is where the proper isolation is maintained in the same circuit. That is why in this circuit we have the primary side, we, have, we also have the secondary side being the hot as well as the cold. From the, what I uh, defined earlier from this particular area, which I said uh, an optocoupler is an electronic component that basically acts as, as an interface between two between the two separated circuits that operate at different level from different voltage levels now it's obviously that you can now understand why they operate from different voltage level the voltage that is in this primary section is not the same thing as the voltage that in this place here it could be a step a step down transformer it can also be a step up transformer but from what i'm seeing here this place is a step down so it's it's obvious now the voltage that is 
that is in this source, that is in this primary session, will be greater or much more greater than this voltage that will be applied or that will enter in this particular secondary soil, the source, which that is the work of this auto coupler. It's it, what it does is to what is to act as in between the two different voltage levels. The voltage that is in, that in this section is different the voltage that in this section. So what it does here is to carry voltage from this source and give to this area. I will explain this in the few coming aspects. Here, these two things that you are seeing here from here to this place, they are all called auto couplers. Another one is here. You say an auto coupler mainly consists of infrared LED and photosensitive or light sensor device that detect the emitted infrared beam. The light semiconductor photosensitive device can be a photo transistor, photo dialing pills, C S C R or trays, which we have already discussed this previously in our other videos, but as time goes on, I will also explain a little bit more about this. But that is what it happens here. In that case, what they are trying to explain, what I'm trying to explain here is the same thing, autocoupler. This is what, how it, what is inside of autocoupler, which is an autocoupler mainly consists of infrared whipping LED and as well as photosensitive or light or light sensors. And what are the light sensors? It could be photo transistor, photo dialing pills, SCRO or trains. Those are the things that is inside auto coupler. That is what I'm trying to explain here. Now, this is the DC being direct current internal structure of auto coupler. I'm trying to give you the difference between AC and DC. This one is the DC aspect of it. This one is the photo transistor. Why this one is a photo dialing? In that case, this is six legs. This one is also six pin. You can call it six leg. You, you can also call it six pin. This is the internal structure, and this is how it has been configured. Here is called the photo detector or photo sensors. Here is called the LED, being the light emitting diode. This is how it works. And this is how it has been configured. Here in photo dialing, it has two transistors. And you know that direct, direct and current internal structure or DC autocoupler, it has, it contains what we call a transistor and the transistor it could be MPN or PMP all depending on the company. Now direct current autocoupler. Direct current autocoupler we have photo transistor and photo dialing autocoupler. Their output circuits are controlled by bipolar transistor. It can be MPN or PMP just as I said before, both photo transistor and um, photo dialing autocoupler types are only capable of conducting in one direction, making them suitable for only DC current, being direct current. In this case, now what I'm trying to explain here is they are only suitable in conducting in a, in a one particular direction. Why in times of AC, they conduct in both sides. That is what I mean here. It conducts in both sides, but in times of DC current, in times of DC autocoupler, it conducts in one direction. Now, photo transistor autocoupler device can have, it can have output up to 120% of their input current. Why photo dialing autocoupler device are able to to output up to 600%. 
definitely i will explain this percent in a few coming video which this percent is all about uh, current ratio current and transfer ratio i will explain it a little bit so let's go straight dc parameter of autocoupler this these are the these are the few and uh, dc parameter of autocoupler i know for now which i which i was able to find out so now the parameter of dc autocouplers are one is isolation voltage this is the maximum permissible dc potential that can that can be allowed to exist between the input and output circuit typically value range it's that is the range is from 500 volts to 4000 kilovolts that is for the dc dc optocoupler circuit that is what it means the range is from 500 volts to 4000 kilovolts that is 4 kilovolts that is being the range that is the the dc parameter of autocoupler another one is um forward current for forward current this is the maximum permissible dc current that can be allowed to flow in the input led you know led that is where the source comes from before getting to the light sensors typically value range from 400 ampere to 100 ampere 40 ampere to 100 ampere so that is to tell you that this one here is the forward current in terms of current aspect of it because it also has voltage which i treated the um, difference between voltage and current in my videos if you have not seen it you can go to my channel being charles electronics you see the difference between voltage and current now in this case now the same thing apply to this place vc by mean maximum this is the maximum allowed allowable dc voltage that can be applied across the output transistor range or typically value from 20 volts to 80 volts from 20 volts to 80 volts why in current it has from 40 milliamps to 100 milliamps why in voltage is from 20 volts to 40 volts why in terms of isolation voltage which range from 400 volts to 4 kilovolts these are the dc parameters and the last one is the bandwidth this is the typical maximum signal frequency that can be usefully passed through the optocoupler when the device is operate in a normal mode i repeat this is the typical maximum frequency and uh, signal frequency that it can it can be usefully passed through the optocoupler when the device is operate in its normal mode now the ranging is all depending on the device and on the type of device structure as in constructions how it has been constructed this one it does not specify whether dc or ac this this particular bandwidth is for ac as well as dc i add it here because i just want to make it open so in that case what they are trying to do here is this bandwidth is what the maximum frequency that can be used for pass through the optocoupler when the device is operate in its normal mode so it all depends on the devices the type of devices when you are using ac it depends when you are also using the dc aspect of it it also depends so typically from a uh, from 20 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz Okay, this is, these are for the 
alternating current being AC, AC internal structure of auto coupler, just as I said before. Now, this this one is for photo XCR, which is which stands for silicon control rectifier, and you can also call it a, a tarristor. And this one stands for photo threads, which this A and C stand is for the it is called triode. This one is the alternating current. Now, in this case, now this this particular one, this 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 threads, it can conduct in both sides, it conducts from the left as well as from the um, right. It conducts from both sides. But from this section, doing this photo SCR, it only as well conducts in one direction. Is only this photo trace is one that conducts from both sides. But they are all in times, they are all used in AC. All these are six pins or six legs now ac being alternating current autocoupler output are silicon control rectifier and trace which means who says triode for alternating current which i have already explained before both types feature high current transfer ratios and are typically used to control higher AC circuit. Now, if you are to talk of current transfer ratio, which I, which I mentioned at the earlier video, the current transfer ratio of this AC aspect is much more greater, much more better or stronger than in the other aspect, being the photodialenting and the phototransistor. This one is much greater. They, uh, that is, they, that, that is, they feature high current transfer ratio than the DC aspect. Now, this one here, these are the finishing touch as well as the, 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 the structure. Now, why I show this is because I want you to know that you can also see auto coupler in this form you can also see it in this form they are as well as black and white auto coupler they are in black and white they are in the one that i have seen so far it is either a white package or in white structure or in a in black finishing aspect here now, here if I may be counting the leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, this one is 16 pins. This one is six pins. Here is more than, if I'm not mistaken, 64 or 124 pins. Now, here as well is a 16 pin, the way he, this one is. So what I'm trying to say in this place now, you can see that this particular top, uh, this particular um, structure that you are seeing here this internal structure or whatever thing here now hmm? this one is for dc if you watch it very well you will understand that this structure is for dc not for ac this structure as well is for dc because why i say it's for dc is here they don't use ac i have not i haven't seen it use a transistor but here you can see that it has a transistor. It uses transistor. So for you to differentiate it from the structure, from the internal structure or the symbol here, you will differentiate the DC as well as the AC. Please, if you find my video useful, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video once again. Expect more video from me.